last uh, the last harvest, the last vintage was really really interesting. Uh, we, of course, we can compare this uh, this vintage 2015 with the with the vintage uh, 03, but there are very some difference and interesting the uh, di difference because in, in fact the growth of the of the last harvest from the middle of May and middle of August uh, was more important than in the vintage 03 and uh, we have to think about uh, in fact the hydric regulation for, for, for the plants. I think um, even if we, we are in a Pinot Noir terroir, so we have to think about the phenolic structure, the phenolic compounds. And I think really these phenolic compounds, depend of the way of the plant, will pick the water in, in fact in the, in the soil. You, you see, we are in my, so this is a shulk terroir, we have a shulky uh, layer and in fact uh, the roots of the plants are very close for, from this uh, hydric uh, regulation. But in some case with the exposure, difference of exposure, difference of age, difference of grass competition of the, of the plant, uh, the way of the maturation evolution will go on is completely different. And when we when I started to taste the base wine last, uh, last year, I was very surprised by these uh, values of typicity of the, of the wine. And uh, I think um, by the way of the stress uh, hydric is uh, with the plants, we can see the evolution of these phenolic uh, compounds in, in the wine. Some wines of this last harvest was very rich, very full body, some wines have uh, had uh, a juicy character and this, uh, this is very typical of this uh, values of, uh, of soils and values of, of plots. The general character of the last harvest, this is a rich uh, character and concentrate character, but in some wines uh, we got some firmness and this firmness is really interesting for us uh, for blending uh, some cuvee like Les Echansons or like uh, Blanc, Blanc de Noir. Instead of this, uh, we keep a lot of freshness in our wine. You see, we are in Maïs, this is a north facing. By this north facing, I think for this uh, vintage like uh, last one, it was, was warm. And, and dry to be on the north facing it's interesting because in fact we reduce this edric deficiency or this uh, this light sun exposure and that's why we keep this uh, this freshness but in some wine last uh, last during the last harvest for the vinification i decided to stop the malolactic fermentation not for a lot of wine just few just few more wine but this wine without malolactic are, are very interesting because they bring some a kind of firmness in fact in the in the blend and this firmness is really interesting for for blend like uh, extra brut or like uh, or like uh, le vintage uh, the no vintage uh, cuvee so in fact for me the last harvest 2015 was very very interesting very complex very rich Pinot Noir, and for me this is really a great vintage for, uh, for Mali and for the Pinot Noir. And I think the aging potential of, of, this, uh, of this wine for this blend will be very, very great. Did you use a lot of reserve wines for your uh, Brut? Yes, for our brut we use a reserve wine between 30 and 35 persons. And it was uh, really easy for uh, to to work on this uh, on our uh, our blend brut brut reserve and to mix in fact the, the wine of the years and the wine of the uh, last years and was very it was very easy to to make this uh, to make this blend in fact